Hello, this is Grinstar, and today I'm going to do some sound design, or I have actually done some sound design in Synth, Synth Master 1. Uh, it's like one of the first VSTs I bought sometime kind of last year, uh, when I was kind of getting into sound design. Uh, I didn't know anything about all this, uh, it basically didn't mean anything to me. Now I'm coming looking back on it a year later, and it's, uh, everything makes sense. Um, basically... This uh, this uh, patch I was working on just before I started recording, uh, I kind of <laughs> what I was gonna do is I was gonna reset it and start from scratch. I'll probably I, I'm gonna still do that, but I wanted to show off this patch I made with Synth Master One because it, it's kind of cool and uh, moody and dark, um, kind of atmospheric or um, kind of cinematic. Uh, it's got a lot of movement in it and different parts depending on where you are on the keyboard. Kind of got that low uh, ghostly sounds in the in the on the low end, and those kind of mids. It's kind of cool. All right, um, enough of that. Let me uh, reset the preset here for back to initialize. Nice and ugly. Um, Synth Master One is a analog and a wavetable type of synth. Uh, it has waveforms, wavetables, and you can add, actually add it as an input device, which is kind of cool. One of the very few synths that actually do that. Among your basic sine, triangle, wave, and square, and sawtooth, um, and, and uh, um, square, well, actually pulse width modulation, but uh, what's the difference between that and the square? There's always thought, anyway. Um, so with the waveforms, it's got different types of waveforms. You can buy expansion packs, um, that uh, allow you to get more waveforms, more wavetables, and definitely lots and lots and lots of uh, um, expansions. I got uh, this, this, or I mean, uh, <laughs> presets. Uh, this one's got a decent amount. I think they said probably a thousand presets uh, that came with this, um, both here and, and you can probably look online for more presets. Um, Basically, you can you can pick any of these presets. I got, but we're we're not gonna do the looking at the presets right now. We're gonna kind of make our own. Um, so, <coughs> excuse me. Um, two oscillators uh, and then two subs in here for that low rumbly type of stuff. Um, they got your their standard unison, your your detuning to to get more than one uh, sound and probably get them off and on to give you a, like a conjoin. Um, and then, uh, you you got your, your, uh, um, uh, filters here, your standard high pass, low pass, shelves, band pass, that kind of stuff for band stop. If you wanted to like cut out the mids or a certain, certain one, and you got your traditional filter, you got your alphas, your mods, your mod envelope or modulation envelope and your amp envelope, um, for both sides, one and two. Uh, and then down here you got your ARP, um, which you play. You can play three. Whoops, play three different keys. And what did I do to do this? All right, turn it on. And you can either play sequence mode or uh, arpeggiated. That's pretty cool. Uh, it also has mod matrixes. Uh, a lot of these controls can be uh, modulated. So basically, this shows the source and targets of that modulation. Uh, so if you forget or you can't really alter the modulation that really well, uh, you could do it down here. It's got two set, two banks of it, um, attributes of the patch that you're doing, uh, and then settings. Um, so. What we can do is we're going to put in a waveform. Let's do pulse. 
Let's do a tone. Yeah, that's that's destined to be a. We're gonna add some modulation. We're gonna stick the LFO right on there. All right, like I said, I can I can mess with the, how much I'm modulating. Or by going up here and messing with the modulation. I can't really grab it that well. You're supposed to be able to. Mostly why it's going back and forth so quickly is because of the LFO. We can lower the speed of it. We can lower the attack. Also, what's kind of unique in here um, is, is you could do uh, sample and hold. That means that the LFO will pause for every random interval and give a different attribute so you can get the steps. So it's kind of cool. And then we can add the second oscillator. Give it a couple of voices. Something, something really screwy like that. Uh, we can put it. Uh
you can pretty much you can you can do a lot of things with this and we can add some distortion can add on the compressor give it a little bit of delay kinds of other screwy stuff let me turn off the arp well you can record the arp that delay sounds weird Kind of plucky little uh, uh, synth there. Can jack up the. and all kinds of stuff you could do with it uh i think that's about the time um thanks for listening